As a forensic tool, the polygraph seeks to determine the involuntary reactions to questions including the events and information of a criminal activity. Scientific approaches to human response system fostered by behavioral sciences have provided a deeper understanding of human thought and reaction. It may be argued that the polygraph examination is used more to confirm innocence than establish guilt. The test is strictly voluntary on the part of the tested individual. Likewise, the polygraph examiner may refuse to conduct a test if he or she feels the integrity of the examination would be compromised. The Michigan Forensic Lab has always taken a leadership role in the use of polygraphs to assist law enforcement. The unit holds the distinction of establishing the nation's first polygraph operation in 1935. Due to caseload, polygraph examinations are currently only available for major crimes such as homicide, robbery, arson, and criminal sexual assault. The conduct of the test is kept very low-key. Suites for interviewing are designed to encourage a calm and quiet atmosphere. There are two suites at this facility. The individual may have an attorney available, but not in the examination room, and may consult with the attorney during any part of the examination. To perform the test, sensing probes are placed on the individual being interviewed that are connected to a polygraph instrument three primary responses are measured respiration, blood pressure, and skin sensitivity response. The instrument monitors activity in these physiological conditions which produce involuntary changes to a fear of detection when the individual is being deceptive. After attaching the sensing probes, the interviewee is given a sample test intended to familiarize the individual with examination procedures, develop a level of comfort, and establish a baseline of truth and deception for that individual. Next, the examiner asks a series of general questions and questions relating specifically to the crime case. Responses to the questions are recorded on a polygraph instrument. In addition, the examiner draws upon his or her experience and training to record observations about the interview. Following the examination, the examiner provides a written opinion as to whether the individual is being truthful or deceptive. Even with the improvements in technology and behavioral science, it still remains the skill of the polygraph examiners using their experience and personal techniques that are at the heart of the polygraph as an investigation resource.